Today's question is, does colour remover actually take green, semi-permanent colour out of your hair? Join me to find out. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So I am back again. In one of my previous videos I said I was going to show you how I dyed my hair a different colour and this is the colour I went. I decided not to post that video because I was awfully stressed at the time. The video quality wasn't great so I thought I'm going to leave it until I am no longer stressed. I'm happy and I want to film a video that I enjoy doing. So I didn't want to put just anything on my channel so I'm back and I'm very much looking forward to filming this video. In today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out the affinage or affinage or however you say it, um, color eraser. So this color eraser says it is for taking permanent color out of your hair. Now I have semi-permanent color in my hair which doesn't budge. I must have dyed it the last time, I don't know, about a month ago and it is still going strong. It is awfully greasy at the moment because the best way to do this apparently after watching lots of videos um, is to like leave your hair, don't wash it for about a week and then put it on because you want all those oils off your scalp to be on your hair so I'm not 100% sure why but apparently it doesn't damage as much. I'm hoping this doesn't damage my hair because I have been growing it up for the last year. If you check out my video on um, me cutting my hair about a year ago, if you check that out, it was all shaved all the way up the sides, up the back, and it was really short. It was like a number three, I think, or a number two. And I will pop the link up the top for you to check that out if you would like to. So, and that's it. And in today's video, we will be trying this out. So, well, why won't it focus? There we go. So this is the colour eraser. So there's three bottles in the box. So if I just open it up, three bottles in the box. So there's step one and step two. Well, that's number three. Step one and step two. So that's step two, step one. And it says to mix them together equally. So I'm checking out the instructions. Step one is to mix equal parts of eraser one and two um, in a non-metallic bowl and mix it together for one minute and it's going to activate the product. So I'm really hoping it gets the green out of my hair because I've had the green now for about three months, four months actually, it's nearly April. And I really want to get rid of the green now and dye it a different color, which I'll be doing over the next few days. Hopefully I'll be filming those videos because I really love dyeing my hair and I want to bleach it again. So what I've done with the green is I, I coloured my natural hair colour, so my ginger and grey. So honestly, the Manic Panic Colours covers grey really well. I'm surprised and it stays. It hasn't budged. I've re-dyed my hair a few times, but honestly it doesn't fade very like very quickly, especially green. So green is awful to get out of your hair anyway. That's why I thought I would like, I would go and try the affinage, affinage, or whichever way you want to say it, um, and try and get it out that way because I don't want to bleach my hair without wanting to go just white. So I thought I'm going to try this. Let's see how it works. And I thought I'd show you and we'd go from there. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to pop my gloves on. I'm going to mix up the eraser part one and two, and then I'm going to apply it to my hair. I'm hoping it's just a straightforward, put on your hair like hair dye. And from the videos I've watched, that's what it says. And it says it will remove the color um, within five to 15 minutes. I've watched videos and it said it takes about 15 minutes. Don't leave it on for any longer because it won't have any effect on your hair. So I'm going to do it for 15 minutes and I'm hoping that it'll just go back to 
what it was. Fingers crossed. So, ah, can you see that? Ah, uh, no. So, I'm going to try not to splush it out of the bowl. So that's number one. It's really liquidy, so just be careful. It is really just like a, a shampoo, really. Oh my, I've heard it smells bad, but that is disgusting. It smells like rotten eggs. Oh, this is going to be fun. So I'm putting number two in, which seems a lot more like a gel. Or maybe like more of a paste-ish kind of thing. I don't know. It's like, oh, wait, that just kind of... I don't know how long this has been sat in the shop, but okay. That came out a bit funny. So it really stinks. That is disgusting. Like, I know they have another one that... Um, has come out that says less odor maybe I should try that one next time so I'm not sure how this is gonna go but let's see so I'm going to mix it together it's very fluid so oh my god it stinks off oh, oh god my whole house is gonna stink of eggs like rotten rotten eggs but yes, I just want to make sure it's all mixed together nicely. And I'm really hoping this works because I don't want to have to cut all my hair off again like I had to last year because it was quite damaged last year and I just wanted the horrible icky ends to go away. So I cut the majority of it off. I have a really good feeling about this one because I used a brush I'd used to dye my hair green and I washed it thoroughly but it seems like it's just stripping the colour out of the brush because it's kind of got like a little bit of a green colour. I would show you but then I'd probably just drop it on the floor which we don't want. Um, so I'm just finishing mixing this up. Just let it sit for like a minute or so because I just wanted to make sure that the Clumps had a little bit of time to kind of dissolve a little bit and seem to have worked. So I don't understand why there were clumps in it, but these things happen, so which is fine. Just make sure you mix it really well. Oh, I just splooshed a whole lot over the side. Oh, crap. So let's just get that off my table because, yeah, the smell seems to be subsiding a little, which is quite good. And just going to make sure all the lumps are out. Oh, what a pain. But anyway, so, and now in the instructions, it said mix well together and use immediately. Always apply to dry hair, avoiding the scalp and areas requiring colour removal and cover with plastic cap. So I don't have a plastic cap, but I do have a shower cap, which has kind of like a plasticky inside that I use when I dyed my hair green so I'm just going to pop that on so hopefully it will keep enough heat in to activate it properly because it does say apply heat but I don't work in a salon I don't yeah I don't want to go to the salon I just want to take the colour out of my hair and apparently this is what hairdressers use so let's just go ahead I have a mirror over here so I'm just going to kind of have a look over there just to apply it because I don't want to apply it in all the wrong places because as it says avoid roots and avoid this and avoid that and I'm just gonna liberally put it all over my hair and let's hope for the best.
So I've put it all through my hair. My hair is very well saturated. Honestly, it's like, it's, I've got a bit on my scalp, which kind of feels like when you're bleaching your hair, it tingles, which isn't too bad right now. So I'm hoping it doesn't get much worse. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pop it up into the cap. I can see like little bits and pieces that have come off on of my hair that have landed on my desk. They are already like green, so oh, this is very sexy. Yes. So it says 15 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. And I'm really hoping when I take the cap off that there's not that much green left. But the way that this works that I've read and seen on videos is that it breaks down the color particles in your hair. So I'm wondering, so one video, there was no demonstration, which I really like, I don't particularly like just watching videos where they're explaining something, I like to see things. And when they were explaining it, they explained it as if there were little particles of color on your hair, which makes perfect sense. And it breaks them down in stages. So at the moment it is breaking it down into bigger particles. In this video it said to wash your hair eight times with clarifying shampoo when this stage is done. And then by doing so you're breaking down the particles into even smaller pieces. So I'm going to set my timer now for, I think I've been waffling on for about a minute, so 14 minutes and I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea while I wait for this and I will be back to show you what it looks like after I take the cap off and then I will go wash it and I will show you what it looks like after I've washed it. So join me again in, well, for you a few seconds, for me, nearly 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. I'm going to pop a pair of gloves on and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I take the cap off. So I'm going to, I haven't even had a sneak peek yet. Let's hope for the best. So, um, yeah, as I said before, this doesn't break it down yet. So it is in the process of breaking it down. And, oh, oh wow, okay. So I look like I have a bit of remnants from the cap on my face. I look like I have blue tattoos all over my face. Oh, I hope that washes off. Okay, so let's have a look. It's still pretty green, but oh my God, it stinks. Oh, bloody hell. I can't, <coughs> it is like rotten eggs. It is disgusting. So I am going to go wash my hair. The instructions say four times. But the video I watched the other day from a salon said do it eight times. So I'm going to wash it eight times with clarifying shampoo. Being careful not to get the clarifying shampoo on my scalp too much because that will make my scalp really sore because clarifying shampoo does tend to dry it out. So I'm going to just wash the ends as much as I can and let's see how that turns out. So at the moment it's still very green. I'm really hoping that this works, so fingers crossed, I'll be back in a bit. I'm back, and I have washed my hair eight times with clarifying shampoo, and it is still pretty green. It's a bit more of a lighter green now, and my hair feels really dry. Um, it's horrible, I really wanna just throw a mask on it, or condition it, or something. But we need to do step three first. So step three is you mix the number three, this one, with water and um, cream developer. So I'm just gonna, it says to use six, but I only have nine with me at the moment. So I've already put the water in the bowl and now it says to add, uh, what is it? 50 mils of post eraser, 40 mils of water and 10 mils of 6%. I'm just gonna add all of those together and see if it works. I'm hoping that 9% is okay, but I don't have six and it is, I think nearly 12 o'clock at night here. So nothing's open, I can't get any. So 
oh well, we'll just have to see how it goes. And you know me, I just don't, it's hair, it grows back, if it falls off, it grows back, hopefully, hopefully. But <laughs> I just want the green out of my hair now, so it's fine. And we're just going to add that. I'm doing double the mixture, so I'm adding the whole bottle, which is 100 mils, plus the 40 mils, so 80 mils of water I've put in, and 20 mils of cream developer. So this one doesn't smell as bad. My whole house smells rotten eggs right now. It is disgusting. Honestly, it is awful. Now this is really watery. Oh, this is gonna make a mess. So let's see. And then it says, uh, mix in a non-metallic bowl um, or applicator bottle. Oh, I have an applicator bottle. Maybe that'll work better. I'm going to go get an applicator bottle. So I've got a brand new applicator bottle, which I found earlier, which is quite a coincidence because this is literally like water. So yeah, I'm just going to give it a little mix around and then I'm going to pour it into the applicator bottle and Hopefully that goes well. So it says here, blend and apply to hair as a shampoo, massage gently for two to three minutes and then rinse well. Was I supposed to do this in the shower? I'm not sure. So I'm gonna just do it sat here so I can show you. Um, if, if hair appears to have darkened after applying post eraser, this is an indication that there may be color molecules still remaining within the hair. My hair is still green, but hey yo, we'll see. So let's see, to achieve the chose, chosen shade, select a color shade, uh, one shade lighter than your target shade. Okay, so I'm really hoping this works. If not, we'll just bleach all of it up tomorrow and hope for the best. So if not, I'll just cut my hair off again. That's I don't mind having short hair, it doesn't bother me at all. So let's put this in here. So I'm just going to pour that into the applicator bottle. And One thing I must say is the tingling I mentioned before. It does tingle a bit if it gets on your scalp, but it does go away. It actually wasn't bad at all. I just have a bit of tingling here still, but other than that, the rest is actually perfectly fine. So I can't even feel it anymore. So that's a good thing. It's not like bleaching where you have, it's just, yeah, just burns, which is okay. So, oh, I just hope I'm doing this right. So blend and apply to hair as a shampoo. Not in the shower, so here it goes, nothing. Is that coming up? Yeah, so. See, as a shampoo, that's I really don't think this is going to get my hair dye out, but oh, I might be doing something. Let's see, because it has dried a bit. Quite. I didn't mean to, but oh, that's on my jeans. I hope it doesn't bleach it, but it shouldn't do because it's non-bleaching. So, oh god, that feels so dry. My hair feels really dry where I put that on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to put a towel over my jeans because I like these ones. I don't want to ruin them. Might have done that already, but yes. There we go. So I'm going to face this way and just do the rest of my hair. Let's see. quite 
quite easy with the applicator bottle. Let's... Oh, this is burning my scalp. Oh, that's really starting to burn. Okay, let's do this quickly. I'm really hoping this works. Oh, so. Somehow I don't think this is going to get the green out of my hair. So my camera just died because I had, well it didn't die, it, I had no more space on my memory card. So I just had to delete a few videos off of there. So now I'm going to reply new gloves and this doesn't seem to be doing much to my hair at all. So I'm really not hopeful at this point, but I'm trying to be positive. It's fine, it's fine. There we go, so <laughs> there's always good old bleach tomorrow. So let me turn you about this way a bit. So let's put some more of this on. Maybe there's just not enough on it. Maybe it's not processed enough. Let's have a look. So it is tingling my scalp quite a bit. Oh, la 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 la, sensitive. I don't think I'll be bleaching anything tomorrow. Yes. I really shouldn't be putting it near my scalp, but it's fine. Oh, it's burning. Oh, it's burning. I should be doing this in the shower. I'm gonna give it a good old scrub, as if I was in the shower. Oh, okay, there it is coming out a bit. So I'm going to carry on doing this in the shower and I will show you when I'm done. I'm hoping it works. Oh, fingers crossed, I will be back. It's still green. It's the next day and I did the colour remover. I did it exactly how they said to do it. I mix the two parts, I put it on, it burnt my scalp a little bit, it's a little bit tender up the top. I washed it eight times with clarifying shampoo, it has barely budged. So it's lighter and there's banding now. The ends where it was bleached are still quite dark. I'm not overly impressed with the results of what it's supposed to do. It must be much better taking out permanent colour because I've used this before years ago. I used it once and it took the colour out and it made my hair like a bright orange and I could dye over that without any problem because my natural hair colour is red anyway. But this has just not, yeah, it's not taken any pigment out. If you want to dye your hair green, think about removing it because Removing it is not fun and I don't want to bleach my hair. So what I'm doing is I'm going to dye it a color opposite on the color wheel. So when you have say green hair, you want to go something completely opposite. So you want to go like a red or a purple. So something with a red base in it. And I can't find a color that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own, well not make my own color, but mix my own color with a few different colors I have of purples and reds and I'm going to see how that turns out because why not? It's hair. And if I don't like it, I'll dye it brown. Although my hair didn't turn out the way I wanted, that's not a problem. I'm more than willing to try something else out. So we will go ahead and we will dye my hair a different colour and see how it turns out on this green, blue, whatever it is. I don't know, it's kind of like a, a bit of a bandy concoction of different blues and greens at the moment, but that is not the end of the world. So I'm going to choose a colour that suits this colour and will dye over it with no problem. Join me for my next video. I really look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. And like that, you get to see what I'm doing with my hair. You never know. 
if I just shave it all off one day. <laughs> amazing. It was great seeing you. Hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.